Now, whether this channel ever succeeds or not, if you guys watching this, if this saves one person from losing their rig, losing their belongings, somebody losing their life, then I guess this channel and what I've done has been a success. But if you're surprised by the results of this stuff, share this video with other people you know that have RVs, are interested in RVs, or out doing van life, whatever, because they're probably going to be surprised by this. Okay, let's see what our almost 30 year old fire extinguisher will do. Broke the clip, and now our fire is burning. Our home is burning down. <laughs> I hope you got your friends and loved ones and pets out of your RV because that even surprises me, man. I thought it would do a little bit of something. Yeah, I did too. I did not expect this to do do absolutely absolutely nothing it is just not doing anything and it is not going to and that is the problem yeah. myself and everybody else buys these older RVs and they have a fire extinguisher that's never been used maybe yours is 10 years old or 20 years old or 30 years old I'm gonna do more research on what the life of these is supposed to be but you have to remember these things are sitting in there, they're getting cold through the winter, they're burning hot in the summer, they're, you know, these things have a harder life sitting in that RV than they do sitting under your counter in your kitchen in your climate controlled home. But yeah, I really thought, man, that would do something and it's just, it's just, it's just a brick inside. So if your home has any age, your rolling home, more than likely, this has not been changed. If there's not been a fire, it's never been changed out by the previous owners or you if you bought, bought your rig new and you've had it for a decade or more. It is time to change this thing. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. I really, really, really thought this thing would go for a few seconds and maybe fizzle out after that. I really was not expecting this thing to not work at all. I am as guilty as everybody else because I have had this 1993 model rig and this 1993 model fire extinguisher folded to it. I have owned this for right at two years now. And I should have changed this as soon as I bought that rig out and I didn't. I intended to. You know how we all intend to do things. We intended to try mine. We're going to. We're all. We're going to. We're going to get to it. We're going to change it out. And I've changed a lot of other safety things out on this rig, the propane detectors and the CO2 detector, all these different things. But I kept putting off this. You know, one of the reasons I wanted to do this experiment one night, and I just forgot about it and didn't. But yeah, I'm guilty too. This should have been changed two years ago and it really should have been changed a lot of years ago by one of the previous owners this experiment's not over yet but let me say this i hope i scared the bejesus southern word out of some of you folks because it kind of did me and it did enough that it did him he went and got his after seeing this it's got a little age two not as much mine was whatever brand there I showed a second ago. He isn't an actual kid. And his show's fully charged and ready to go. So we'll find out if it's really fully charged and ready to go. All right, man, since this is your extinguisher, we'll let you do the honors. And I know yours has got a pull pin. Yours has got a metal mechanism. It's a nicer more expensive extinguisher than mine was but do it to it let's see what happens and that actually worked the problem is there's no date on his either so we don't know how old it is you can't shake it until his felt like mine did i wonder if it's still good <laughs> or if i should just shoot it the rest of it i wonder are they single use 
I think they're kind of single use, but see oh. how, does it feel like very much come out or does that still feel pretty full? It still feels full. Mine said not, mine said not to try to experiment with it. <laughs> mine, mine says plainly, plainly, do not test. I'm glad yours has some function. Well, even though it's spraying out, maybe it's not doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Now he just brought up a very good point in that even though this sprayed out and he's used about half of what was in that container, it did not come close to actually doing anything to put this out. Basically, the only thing he did was spray some white powder on top of it. So we're going to go ahead and hit it good with the rest of rest of the capacity of that thing. You're getting a flame going yeah. to see if it'll put a flame out. Yeah. Five or six seconds there. Five. Well, oh, oh man, I can taste that. Uh, well, you saw I, I, you saw that we shot it all out. Yeah, it, it's it, showing still full charge. <laughs> wow, yeah. So mine, I just stand and watch my rig burn. He gets to make heroic attempt at saving his before he steps aside and watches his rig burn. <laughs> yeah, you can see it in the back. It's flaming back up. You are absolutely right. Yeah, that just doused it with some white powder. Yeah, that's all it, fucking, that's all it did. Sorry, folks, if you heard me spit, but I actually ended up with some of that in my mouth. <laughs> it's all from the wind out here. It's, it's flaring back up. So I thought we were going to be one out of two with this, but I think we're pretty much zero for two. Yours doesn't breed a lot of confidence, and mine didn't breed any confidence that that we could actually, in the event of an electrical fire, gas fire, cooking fire, any propane, anything that could go wrong in in these these things when you're out traveling. No markings on either one of these for exactly when they were made. There is nothing on either one that tells you when you need to replace it. Well, here's the trouble. Here's the real troubling part which I shook it and that needle did finally move. But, you know, earlier it was still, it was in, it's empty. I shot it all out. Right. And the needle was showing fully charged. So yeah, someone- Yeah, it's, it, it's empty. And like you said, shaking it enough got the needle to move, but even when he complete, uh, half full and it empty, completely empty, this thing still showed full, so. You can see Full, scan. fine. It's green, man. I'm good. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's just what you said. It's flaring back up. Yeah, look. Yeah. And everything in there is covered. I don't know how well this is showing up on camera, but <laughs> everything in there is just covered in white powder. I've seen a video of a propane fire last year on one on a road trek exactly like mine out west. And you couldn't really see that the propane was on fire until it, you know, until it went. But when it went and everything really caught, a minute later that rig was gone. And that thing has a metal shell on it, but it, it destroyed everything. And fiberglass and wood shells and, and all the wood that's in plastics that's inside these things. And you know, you've got drapes and curtains and you know, cooking fire. I mean, there's there's a set of curtains from the factory, you know, probably eight inches from my burners. And I'm sure they're chemically treated and fire resistant and stuff, but you know, it's it's not hard for one thing to catch the next to catch the next. That is not the result I expected to have. 
I've been sleeping so good at night. <laughs>